This is the Code in Action video for chapter 17. In this chapter, we introduced React server components to connect our static components to the database. We added the data layer to make it more secure and then called the functions from the data layer in our React server components. Now first, let's install the dependencies again. Now we can run our app, open it in the browser, and now, as you can see, our app is now loading things from the database. However, I have cleared the database so that we don't have conflicts with data from the previous chapters. So now let's create a new account and log in. Now create a new post. And as we can see, we have been routed to posts and the ID, and this is showing the specific post. And if we go to the homepage, we can see the list of all posts. And we're logged in and can also log out using React Server Actions and React Server Components.